This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson. Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to Wine News Weekly. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Warm weather in Northern and Central California could hit you in your pocketbook. Lodi grape growers are saying they're already seeing bud burst, which normally doesn't happen until mid-March. Early crops in the hot, dry conditions right now could lead to lower yields and higher prices. Lodi Wine Grape Commissioner Stuart Spencer says price hikes are all but inevitable. An Australian winery is helping the planet stay healthy, one plastic bottle at a time. The Hidden Sea Winery pledged to remove 10 plastic bottles from the ocean for every bottle of wine it sells. They just met their goal, donating enough funds to collect 10 million bottles from the seas. The winery worked with the Ocean Waste Cleaning Company, Resea, which will actually scoop up the single-use plastic bottles and recycle them. Oregon winemakers are working together to increase diversity in the state's wine industry. Several wineries are working with the nonprofit group Our Legacy Harvested to find six interns from the BIPOC community. They'll learn about the process of making and selling wine, and they'll have a chance to work the harvest later in the year. The wineries are all located in the Willamette Valley area. And finally, the Wine News Weekly Wine of the Week presented by Coco Vino Los Angeles. It's the 2020 Sauvignon Vouvray. Honeysuckle on the nose and ripe pear on the palate are features of this Loire Valley Chenin Blanc. Learn more about it at CocoVinoLA.com. And that's going to do it for this episode of Wine News Weekly. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you visit our sponsors listed in the description section below. Once again, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers. This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson.